Hi, and you're welcome to the to this section where we'll be showcasing the hanging TV shelf. Uh, remember what we did in the what we'll do in subsequent videos is where we're going to um, uncouple our bookshelf that will now remake into a hanging um, TV console. So this is the picture we have in mind that we want to achieve for our hanging TV console. And just like I did in the previous video of the pharmacy shelf slash supermarket shelf, um, I'll be explaining so that you'll be able to understand what I actually, the project we want to do together. So looking at it, we have the front of you. So that is the view that um, your clients will see, the visitors in the homes of your clients, what they will see. So, and these are the parts that you will add your edging bands to. I will explain that in the video. Then we also have our right side. So which is this side? We have our right side. What's going to show on the right side? This is the top. So this part has to have an edging band. This one might not be necessary, but this part, it is very necessary. Then our edging band also has to be, because this part will show, we have to cover this raw wood. This one already has edging band. So that's how it's going to look like. And remember I said you can use whichever color you want. So the lower part also has edging band. So, so we have our left and we have our right also. So the right and the left. So how the back, so let me show you the back. So the back is usually covered by a board. So it is brown at the back, but it will carry whichever color you want. So in this case, this is actually a white back. They call it a white back board. So you can request for whichever color, depending on how you want your creativity to come out. Then the things that are worthy of note is the total length. Should I say the total breadth? So in this case now it is 30, uh, 3 feet, 36 inches. So same thing. So we are noting all this because when it comes to cutting, we have to be able to know what we are cutting out. So this is the space that we call the bucket the other time in between the layers. So, so like I said earlier, you can be the one to decide on the length you want. So you can divide it to, but just make sure that this part that is going to be the part to house your TV, your LCD screen, has enough space to accommodate the TV. Then this one can just be maybe for the remote. Then we also have the depth. So in this case here now, our depth is actually six inches. So let me show you on the model. This is what I mean when I say depth. So from here to here is our depth. Also on the hand side, from here to here is our depth. So it also has to be captured. So in this case now, it is six inches. So here to here is our 36 inches. So, and just like I said, the inner part also has to be considered. So while cutting it out. So all you just do, maybe you cut your 36 inches out. Then you ask them to remove two of this stand from whatever markings you have here. And by the time you add this to this, you, you will discover that from here to this extent will give you your 36, accurate 36. So that particular point I just explained now, it's very, very important. So what are the things that we need to consider when we're doing our drawings? All these parts are actually very easy. They are sketches that you can do easily. But the most vital part here is just like in the previous video that I told you, you have to draw your board out. And remember I said our board is 48 inches. If you are using inches and also four feet so if you're using feet then here we know that the the length is eight feet 
and also remember we did our calculation we said it is 96 inches the reason why we're doing this is we want to know how many of this that we can get so in 46 in 46 and uh, 48 i can go ahead and divide it by six so i have eight <clears throat> so i have eight so which means i can go ahead and divide this into eight places i can go ahead and divide this into eight places or depending on the length on the total length that i'll be needing so let's go ahead let's try and see if we can divide this with the ruler though it's just a rough sketch so let's see what we can achieve so this is also close to four so what we'll just try and do is to try and divide it into four so it might not be accurate so after dividing into four now let me go ahead and erase this so i can go on further to divide i'm just showing you quick ways so by the time we now look at it we have one two three four five six seven and eight so after getting our eight boards let me go ahead and draw it down I don't want to be too rigid that's why I'm trying as much as possible to carry you along by not using a ruler doing calculations that will bore some people here so I have this and why am I doing this because each of these board will be six inches six inches six inches six inches so that's the reason why I divided it and remember in this we said we have three feet so if we have three feet there so which means we are still going to go ahead and divide this into eight so let me see if we can achieve eight here so let me say one two three four five six seven and uh, eight so now that we have this i'll go ahead and mark it at the side so i have one i have two i have three i have four i have five i have six seven and eight so since i have my eight markings there so this is three feet so which means if I go right ahead and mark it here, I already have one of the boards. So if I go right ahead and mark it here, I have my second board. And looking at this now, I have 36 here, 36, 36, 36, and also this. So if I now count it, I'll now be saying I have one, two, three, four, and five. So I need five of the boards. So in this particular case now, we've gotten three. So I'll go right ahead. So I can say this is the third one. This is the fourth one. This is the fifth one. And this is the sixth one. So with this now, I can actually complete my project with an extra board because this extra board will not be needed. So, but I can go ahead and also add it depending on number of layers i might go ahead and add it here so depending on how i want the so which means with actually two bots here i can achieve so let's say i'm doing it for a commercial purpose now so this giving me one of the bots these two giving me another tv console so this one being the third one and this one being the fourth one so by the time i now say i will even want to go ahead and add this so this extra one i might have something worthwhile on ground so i might be looking at say maybe four and a half of this tv console from a board just from one board 
so that's also at the commercial level if you want to produce a whole lot of them at the same time because you can do your cutting all at once and you go ahead and do it so i hope you're getting this so by the time your board is out you just go ahead and do the facing like i'll do in subsequent videos and that's really all that's all you need when you're doing your calculations so you get your total board your total board is um, 48 inches by 96 inches then you divide as such into what you want so thank you and i'll see you in subsequent video thank you